Tenakwe and welcome to Lantern Festival 2019. We made it. I didn't think we were going to make it tonight because the forecast was for bucketing rain. But it's just holding off. It is a bit chilly. You can tell it's getting chilly when I start putting beanies on and hoodies. Yeah. Now I don't know what the video quality is going to be like overall in this video because this video for me is a little bit of a proof of concept. You see, you see I'm filming this on the Removeview K1 and um, when we go to China next we're going to be doing a, a lot of nighttime filming and this camera is not really the best for nighttime filming. And uh, I've got my GoPro Fusion with me. Anyway, I'm going to talk about a whole lot of stuff in this video. Um, check out the time codes in the description to see all the stuff I'm talking about. So you can jump around back and forth in the video and see what you want to see. In the meantime, we're going to walk around the entire Lantern Festival. We're going to do this vlog hissing fort style. We're just going to go all over and talk about all kinds of stuff. So you are going to get a good insight into what's been going on in my life recently. It's a it's like a bit of a big update video. 2019 is the year of the pig. City Council has put in a lot of effort in um, revamping all of this waterfront area. It looks pretty fancy behind me, right? You know, you can see all the light, the steps over there. They've spent a lot of time and money rejigging all this. And they want to show it off. That's why for this year's Lantern Festival, and I think last year's as well, it was all here along the waterfront. That's actually the strip. If you remember Christchurch from 10, 20 years ago, that was all nightclubs. It's returned to being nightclubs. For a while it was nothing. But it's more sort of family friendly nightclubs now though. It's more like bar, ca bars, cafes, restaurants, rather than just nightclubs. There's the horse. That's me. I am the year of the horse. There's the tiger. I think that's the tiger. Uh, yes, that's the tiger. That's your tiger, right? Yes, this is the tiger. Yeah. It doesn't really look like a tiger. But it is a tiger. So the proof of concept thing, what I'm talking about here is when we get a Heilong Jung, there's going to be nighttime filming and lights. Because we're going to essentially the festival of lights, well, kind of the festival of lights. Well, it's the ice festival, the Harbin International Ice Festival. I think that's what it's called. Ice sculptures everywhere, as far as the eye can see. You know, <laughs> like a Disney Wonderland of ice sculptures. And uh, so I'm going to need to film in low light. However, one of the difficulties that I'm going to have is going to be which camera to take. Well I know that I want to use the GoPro Fusion. That's the new camera. The new 360 camera. But I also know that being traveling, being that I'm traveling, I want to use a small camera. So the remote view, this camera, is pretty small. It's pretty small. <laughs> There's the albatrosses in Dunedin. Albatrosses in Dunedin here at Christchurch. What's up with that? You know, the other thing is I'm not sure really how well your GoPro Fusion does at low, in low light as well. I mean, we got a bit of ambient light around the place right now. And I wouldn't say it's heaps. Well, it's certainly not dark though. How's it looking? Let me know in the comments. How does the... What's the GoPro Fusion low light like? What does it look like? They must have uh, put some new lanterns in because Coco just saw the plane over here. She's asking, is it here in New Zealand or is it China Southern? Coco said it's China Southern. I don't know if that's actually true. It says Dreamliner. Chinese gold miners. <laughs> All right. Let's have a little bit of a conversation about 360 cameras. They are the bane of my existence right now. But actually, I'm sort of getting used to them. The 
Afro Fusion or any 360 camera is ideal for videoing all around yourself. You know, if you're going to somewhere with a lot of action happening around you or a lot of detail. You know, it's also known as a camera where you can shoot first and point later. Or you can do like I'm doing right now, you can create a tiny planet effect, which is so cool, honestly. I've just been trying to figure out why the, la the last few lanterns just went off. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night right now. I mean, it's not that late, and they're, they're turning the lanterns off. I've seen people packing the flags away and taking the bins away. They're, they're packing up already. soon it's only 1024 we only just got here <laughs> well all I can say is that it's a good thing that I didn't decide to make this video and you know, it, it, it's be like showcasing the lantern festival the amazing lantern festival and they shut everything off at 1030 it only gets dark just after 9 and you're shutting everything off at 10.30 Great job there, good decision <laughs> People are just coming out and you're just shutting it all off Ugh. Anyway, I've been trying to get to this for the whole video 360 cameras, I bought myself the Xiaomi Major Sphere After two days of using it, it bricked itself In other words, it just stopped working for no explicable reason. I upgraded the firmware and then it just randomly stopped. Don't know why. I contacted Xiaomi uh, US and Global Customer Service and they said no nah, no nah, we won't help you just go back to the seller the guy the person you bought it from. So right now it's it's back with the seller. I don't know when I'm going to get that, that camera back. I mean, that's a $500 camera. It's a good camera. It's not as good as the GoPro Fusion. But one thing that I discovered is after, straight away after buying that Xiaomi Media Sphere, I figured that this camera is not quite going to be fit for purpose for what I want because I'm going to want to use it in the water. And uh, so I'm going to need a, a waterproof 360. So I bought myself the GoPro Fusion. The Fusion records up to 5.2K video, very high resolution. It needs two SD cards. You do not record your video onto only one SD card. You record it onto two. So it records each hemisphere of video onto two SD cards, and then you use the GoPro Fusion software to stitch that video together. Anyway, I don't want to go on and on about that, but I have a Fusion, and I'm... Um, really looking forward to using it a lot more and a Xiaomi Media Sphere but there's one more thing that I want to talk about in this video and it's kind of the reason why I haven't made quite so many videos recently let's just change locations so yeah lime scooters <laughs> if you're in New Zealand you will have seen on the news recently uh, that Auckland has put a temporary ban on the lime scooters pending results of the outcome of why are the scooters freezing up and people are like falling <coughs> off of them anyway we have lime scooters here in Christchurch uh, click the little i button in the corner if you want to see that little video on uh, how to use lime scooters you can get a job assuming that you have an, a suitable vehicle such as a ute or an SUV or a van, something like that, you can get a part-time job charging those things. <laughs> I've been doing that and it's actually taking time away from where I would normally be 
making videos. But whilst I'm not making videos, I'm actually doing something arguably more productive and actually making a little bit of money. Is it great money? No, definitely not. Is it a good idea for everybody to do this? No, nope, I wouldn't say that either. Is it sometimes practical under some circumstances? Yes, yes. You know, you, you've got to pick them up, usually in the afternoons or the evenings, take them home, charge them, put them back out the next morning before 7 a.m. So I've been doing that. Oh, I may make a video dedicated to that at some point, but uh, that's something that's been tying me up and I haven't made all that many videos recently. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for sticking through the video. Enohora, I will see you again soon. And um, yeah, that was Lantern Festival 2019. Met a social justice warrior in real life, in the flesh. And um, yeah, I'm sorry. You've only seen half of the Lantern Festival because they turned all the freaking lights off too soon.